just assumed I'd play the part of keeping you in the right direction. No matter how your confidence may fall, I'll be here as your foundation. Joining me this week, I am joined by Taylor. Hello. And we are playing Final Girl. We, it is usually a single player game. Uh, we're playing it as two combined smooth brains trying to figure out if we can survive a B Tech horror film. Uh, this game, we are playing Laurie. We are doing the first one in the laws and scenarios, and it's got a bit of text. We are playing Night of the Pig, I think. Yep. That's the right the one. Butcher. Uh, so we've got Laurie never wanted to come to camp, much less participate in the annual nighttime treasure hunt. But her girlfriend had been very convincing. It'll be fun, babe. Come on, do it for me. That's my American girl. Uh, <laughs> Laurie never could say no to Lucy. With minutes of the starting whistle, they'd become separated. Now Laurie was lost and becoming angrier by the minute. But her anger turned to fear when screams began. She frantically began searching for something to use as a weapon, anything, when she remembered the new camp director was a pacifist and had gotten rid of um, gotten rid of archery, wood carving, and anything resembling a weapon. Damn it, Lucy, what have you gotten us into? Laurie would have been uh, Laurie would have to make do with her hands if she and Lucy were going to survive the night. And whatever was out there in the dark. So this is episode one. Episode one of Final Girl. So in this game we will be using these cards to begin with. Which are walk and everything like that. We start with two dice. We start right in the middle on four. I think that's where it usually starts you. Uh, if not people will shout at us in the comments but that's fine. <laughs> um, the killer is going to be Hans the Butcher. Um, you might recognize him from the hit series dead by daylight <laughs> uh, and yeah so we're going to go around the cap uh, we'll be moving on this board you should see some little yellow dots they are a bit of an annoying call to pick up on camera but they're going to be civilians that are just stuck around camp if we go into their spot and pick them up we can walk to one of the two exit gates and they will follow us every survivor we save we can unlock one power down here on Laurie's little card um, every survivor that Hans kills, he will gain bloodlust. Slowly, but surely killing people. Um, so, yeah, we've got a backpack, we've got two items in our hand. It's meant to be a solo player game, so two brains should be able to do this. Two uh, brain cells. Yep. Yeah. Every move in this game costs uh, time, which is this little blue marker here. This is also what you spend on new cards. So we will start, we are, what are we going to do first? Well, you can see our cards there, so we can walk. I think we probably, we could probably walk and grab someone and try and walk away and get our first power. Um, yeah, I, I see no reason why not. That seems like a logical thing to do. Don't need to rest yet. Don't need to focus on anything. So yeah, probably walk. I don't know where we need to insert this card pile. There's a play area, so we, we're playing walk. Um, and then these over here somewhere. So we'll play walk, which means you can roll two dice because we've got two at the minute. Um, and then move up. We need two stars basically. No stars. No stars. Nothing. We've absolutely failed. So failing to have no stars, move up to one space but lose a health, or we just lose two time. We've basically just got stuck in mud. <laughs> Um, I don't know. You know what we do? I don't think we lose health here. No, it's too so early on. Just lose two. We've done nothing so far. We've got another walk though. We can keep playing until we run out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go again. We'll play another walk. Don't let's do let's you, hope you. You want to do the honors? My rolling skills mm. are not. So what that means is we can discard two cards to get one star mm -hmm. if we wanted to. And we can move up to one space. Hmm. Um, I'm assuming that's what 
Let me just make sure that I've definitely read that right. No, you have. Yeah, lose one health. That is lose one health. I yeah. thought it might be like a broken or something like that to take damage. Do we get rid of two cards? Well, we have two focuses. So we could probably get rid of a focus and a short rest. Or focus on the weak attacks. We're not, we're not close to the... Um... Yeah, let's get rid of two. So we'll get rid of both of them. Which means we get one success. I don't know where you put them, actually. But discarded somewhere. Nope, there's no space for it. Right, fuck it. We'll leave it there. So we can walk, which means we're going to get one star, which is move up to one space. So we will move. Do you want to move this way, or do you want to move to try and save two people? I think we'll probably try and save two people, because you can bring as many people along the path as you can. We can bring two with us. Unless we've got a... There's some game... Not this one, but there's some which has, like... Uh, there's one in a mental institute which has a Gertie. That basically means that we can carry four people with us but the, I mean I think only two people can follow you it's like you got two hands just to guide them because they're all scared little babies <laughs> and then we're gonna lose how many just one which is good um and then we can't really do anything else so do you want to save these end our turn um yes okay so we'll end our turn so what that does is they're still in play for now. So we have got three points to spend, uh, which means we can buy any of these up to three. Sprint might be a good one. Which is two, yeah. So if we take one sprint, which would cost us two points, which is down there. So we've got, what, one left? So we can take close call. Yeah, may as well. May as well, because we've got that. And then that's our turn done. So we go back up to six. You always start on six when it's your turn. But now these come back in, so we can buy these next time for free, which is good. But now it's the killer turn, which means the killer is going to move one towards either a survivor or a victim and then attack. Do you choose which way you go? Yes. Now the rules say you have to stick to one, so you can either go shortest distance no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, you can go just for the player more than the victims, or you can make it realistic, no matter how silly it is. But then you've got to stick with that. It makes sense from the go to those, those victims there, right? The dock. Well, he's, he's the same distance between them and them. There's two spaces between either. But does he, does he know where we are? No. He's it's not like he's focused on us. I reckon it's definitely he's going to go to one of these victims. So. Yeah. Should we have him come round to the dock? Yeah, I think so. So he's moved one. He can't do anything else. And then I think it's the terror deck turn, isn't it? I think. Let me just double check, make sure it is. I, I want to make sure that we get that right, otherwise we will be yelled at. All right, so our first one is he just came out of nowhere. Oh, dear. Place hands with the furthest target possible. Place hands with the furthest, farthest target possible. That's us. That is us. Hands is here. Oh no. He's already jumped at us. Then we do the skull action, which is increase the horror level by one. Which is this right, I think. Uh, we have lost that one, but yeah, I think so. I'm assuming that's the horror level. Oh no, horror level's this, sorry. Horror level by one. Um, so it goes around. Basically, if it comes in here, we lose all the dice. Mm -hmm. And then draw the next terror card. No. <laughs> Fire. Roll the dice to determine which space bursts into flames. So all of them should have a number on the bottom as well. Four. Four is the... Utility shed. All victims in that space are killed and uh, discard all item cards from that space. If you are an enemy of there, you each lose a health. So four is. As utility shed. This is utility shed. So these yep. all die. Yep, they both die. So they're both in here. So he's going to gain two bloodlust because two people have died. Bang, bang. And we've lost oh another one God, of them. Oh my God! This is savage. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then all items are lost. So where was that? The utility shed. The utility sheds. All items in the utility shed are lost. No way. Uh, 
favorite type of shed? Where's the discard pile for them? I believe them. Ugh. There is nothing for discarded items, which is not very Let's helpful. Over here. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. So nothing else loses that. Fuck me. What a start. <laughs> wow. Well, it's us. It's back to us. Well, I think we need to sprint. Wait, is there not um, a panic phase? And an upkeep phase? I don't know what. The upkeep phase is what we've we've bought stuff, so we've got everything back now. Where um, everything? That's gone back up to zero. So the panic phase, I don't know. The panic phase, if a victim was killed this turn, panic or kill all victims in the killer's space. So that'll be like a big Us. old run. Um, I suppose we'll be a. Are we technically a victim? No, but no. we can be panicked by um, certain things, I believe. But that, yeah, but the killer didn't actually kill anyone. It was the fire that killed someone. Yeah, so we I weren't near them. Okay. Um, so it's our turn. So we've got what are we? We are doomed. Yeah. I mean, we could. Sp oh, we're going to have to sprint, aren't we? Yeah, I've got to sprint away, I feel like. Yeah. Go on then, we've still got two dice for now. <laughs> for now, we're so close to having just one dice. One success. Move up to two spaces. It's got to be towards the uh, the last remaining meeple over there, isn't it? Got to rescue the shed. I feel like. So we can go there. We ran away from him at the minute. In hopes to grabbing this one and bringing her around yeah. here. Yeah. I would uh, say we could go get some items in the, uh, in the utility shed, but I've got burnt down. And that cost two. Uh, and then we've got focus. Maybe with focusing, I feel like this doesn't. It gives us some of the horror level back. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, and, we and can time, right? Yeah. Well, we can gain two time, or we can lose time if we get nothing. So yeah, we can. We can focus. Maybe worth because we don't want to go down to one dice because then we're kind of doomed. I feel like. Discard the two cards. If we discard the two cards, we gain two time and go up a horror level as well. Which does mean that then we've got no cards left. We can literally spend six points in here. Which I think is worth it. Yeah. Yeah, we can bin off that. So we go up one. It was. Does this not go back to six? Because we got two time. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely true. For some reason, my laptop switched off again. Um. We've done all that. Up here, because it's got in front of the camera then. We can always reference it if need be. It's just so you can see the turn order and stuff, which is fine. So we've done that. That's all our turn done. So now it's the is it shopping phase or is it the Plan, planning phase? Planning phase. So we can shop. Purchase action cards. Uh, reset time to six, um, and then return action cards. So do we get all of the zero yeah, ones? The zero ones are free, so we can take them back. They're ours. Um, and then we've got six to spend. Six is quite a lot. So you've got the long rest, which will get us all our health back. Don't really need that now. Although, we, yeah, he's going to go and kill one of these in here. Distraction might be good. So only three, and we, we bring the counter down. Because I feel like the highest... We're going to... If we get three of these, three dice, we're going to in, infinitely increase our chance of success. So I think the more chances we have of bringing this down, the better. Because if we have three dice, we're just more likely to succeed statistically. So. Yeah, we don't have a search anymore. Until this action phase ends, all threes and fours are successes. That's the improvised one. So that's good as well. So I think we've got six, that's three, and that's three. I think maybe a distraction and improvise would be good to use. We've got what? Well, we've got two walks back, so we can walk slowly. It's up to you if we do like maybe distraction and get another sprint. It's either going to be one of them and a distraction. We're definitely going to take that, though, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Definitely take that and spend three. So we've got three left to spend. Okay, three dice, six, hold on. Oh, that's, that's like a one time use thing. 
And then obviously we need to start working on getting some of these critical blows and stuff at some point as well, which we could have got. But then we'd have to just save it until we were in the same space. We'd deal three damage to him. Of his 12. Yeah. We need to chip away at him slowly. I feel like there's got to be a better... I don't know. Um, I don't mind. It's up to you. I, I, say, I suggest the distraction, so whether you want splinter improvise, I don't mind. I'll use. I'll let you use your half of the brain for that. I think we go sprint. I think we go sprint, and then we That's can That's a lot also, of our sprints done quite fast. We can also though. get that. But yeah, they're going to reset in a second. So we've spent everything. How are they going to reset? Because now we're in the next phase, which is then restock the shop. So these come back out. So uh, that goes there. They go there. They go there. And that goes there. I see. Right, today I won't. Okay. Um, so killer phase. The killer's going to move one space. Resolve the killer action and draw a terror card. He's going to move one space, bunk off him, and go up there again. Does he just automatically kill? Yeah, because up there he's got he's going to move towards the closest person and then attack on his turn. Mm-hmm. So he's walked into the room and just slapped a thing. And then the panic phase means he runs away in one direction, I think, if you roll the dice. Y- yeah. Just one dice. One dice. Yeah. See which number he rolls. Turn two. So he's going to go that, no, that direction up into the corner. Um, and then it's the terror card, which is probably going to be something disastrous for us. He just keeps coming. Move towards the victim or thing. Then says move again, but I think he'd stay because there's a person there. So it's moving towards a victim there already, and then another movement. Wasn't there a thing because oh, you, you kill, you kill a moves? Yeah, that's what it says. Kill a moves, so it moves again. Oh no, target closest to the victim or final girl, so that's who he's targeting, sorry. So that's who he's targeting, he's then going to move towards them. So he's moved into his space and then he's going to kill this one. So he is just massacring this guy. <laughs> and we've lost another horror. I can't believe we've got four meeples dead already. I mean, a fire wiped out two of them. We are not doing well. Screwed. Yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I don't believe in the heart of the cards. Look, this is this is look at look at all our cards now. Though we do have quite a lot of cards. To six. Panic phase. If a victim calls this turn, panic all victims in the killer space. But he's already dead. Um, keep phase for your cards from the terror cards. Oh wait, so items. panic was after the killer phase. Yeah. So killer would have stayed there then, because the panic phase was after that. So this one would have died there. He wouldn't move because he's targeted the one closest to him. So he would have just stayed there. Because oh, I did right. the panic phase before the kill. Right, okay. Uh, rearrange items. We don't have any items at the moment, which is not very good for us. <laughs> then play action cards. Um, Maybe walk to that meeple, I think. Yeah. Go on then, I'll let you... Uh... Lie the roller. Yeah. We have one success. We've got one, that's all we need. We've got one space, yeah. So you're with us. So now we need to get him to an exit, which is just back one space, to be fair. Oh, yeah, there is one there, isn't there? Yeah. That is true. So we could either walk again or, yeah, I say we walk. Yeah. Why not? I'll let you roll. I don't want to or do we use Or do we use sprint? I think... Because if we use sprint, we can go one, two, three, potentially, still get them out. And then next turn, we could always walk and get that one. Oh, we need to spend one move time for that last one. But it is a gamble that we hit all three. And you probably want to focus or do distraction this turn because we're one away from only having one dice. We can keep going as long as we have action cards, though, right? Yeah, we can keep as long as we've got time to spend. So, should we say maybe do the distraction now? Costs us free time. Oh no, sorry. Cost, uh, no, it might not. Might not cost us anything. We That's might gain. Depends on what we roll. Yeah. Yeah, we'll use that. Let's use the distraction. Hopefully. Well, we definitely need to do one. So what are we getting rid of? We have to get rid of two. Close call and. No, yeah, it's discard two cards, isn't it? Close call and. Weak attack? Yeah, he's not, not, we're not close area. at the moment, are we? 
So we'll get rid of them. So we got one success. Which is which is up one up in one. the time. Yep. And up one in the horror. Up one in the horror. Does that go down one because we used it or does it just go? No, because we gained one. Right. So it didn't use any for doing that. Um, and then what are we going to do next? Sprint? Yeah, probably. I'll let you roll. My roller hasn't been very good. So we'll use sprint and see what we get. We've got two dice to do it. Move up to one space. We lose a heart, but then lose two, and we have to end our turn immediately if we don't bin off two cards and they be our two cards. That is too painful, I feel like. I feel like we've just got to get rid of the two cards. So we still would go down one. We're going to bin off two cards to get rid of that. So we'll s I'll leave them up there while we finish this. Um, we are going to move up to two spaces, so we're just going to go back to get rid of her. Was that? Well, that's one space, isn't it? So it says move up to two spaces. Can we go back, drop her off, and then go forwards again? Or do we have to end yeah. that space? No, I think. I don't see why we couldn't. We're just letting her get to the exit. Or do we want to try and push over to the other exit over here? My only worry is, because I can't remember what terror cards are in the game, but if he says teleport to the nearest survivor again, <laughs> or the furthest yeah, one. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, all right. I'll, yeah. So should we go back one? Go back one, drop her off. Drop her off, and then we need to go down there, and then we'll move back there. So one meeple means well, it that... Well, depends. We can pick. Oh, we can so pick? So you can stick it on any of them. Oh, if right. If we rescue okay. six, so we can either... We don't need any healing at the moment. We either go up in that. We don't need healing. We can get two time. We can take an action card... And the maximum of two things. So just take one. God. Only them bottom ones. We can get two time, or we can go down on the counter. Or we can move one space. I feel like we should get two time. Then we'll have seven points. Two time, yeah. For the, for the card buying, I it think. Goes on there. We have saved <laughs> one person. <laughs> Dream team. We're heroes. Absolute. Oh, right, okay. That's that's that. Four dead, one. <laughs> <laughs> Just so It used to say four dead in Camp Happy Trail. <laughs> Turns out the person that's there to save the day has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> after, a uh, after a shed mysteriously combusts. <laughs> 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 don't laugh this it's, is like well that was, uh, we don't know what the camp's for Expo ex ex well, I can't even speak now exploding sheds apparently um, we got our phase? exploding shed badge <laughs> <laughs> the scout's on it yeah <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't talk about what happened in that shed <laughs> We don't talk about happy camp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so is it kill, it's killer phase now, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. Resolve the kill, resolve the action card so he moves towards the nearest Which thing. Go up here. Which is towards us. And then I draw a terror card. Oh, God. This is where things go horribly wrong. Taking souvenirs. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. Otherwise, target a meeple, not us, and it moves two spaces. Unfortunately, well, actually, no, because there's no link between there. So one, two, three, four, or one, two, three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, that's... No, it moves two spaces. That was three spaces for you. With one, two. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's not that bad. And then he would do bad, two yeah. attacks. For each victim killed during the killer phase, so he did nothing. Okay, he's, he's moved away from us towards the the screaming children. <laughs> Camp <laughs> Happy Trails. Um, um, so that's the killer phase, the panic phase. Nothing no happened. Victims were killed. Upkeep phase, rearrange items. So action phase. So we need to buy stuff first. So what are we going to buy? So We've we got have seven points. Seven's quite a lot, though. We can buy all the zeros. Yeah, we've got, well, there's only two to buy. Short rest and focus, but we may as well take them back. Mm -hmm. and we've got seven. Sprint is eternally useful, I feel. Well, yeah. It costs time. It costs time, but we've got no movement cards. So we need something to help us move. 
So I think that has, that's a must in this. Hmm. I think planning might be good as well to increase our chances of success. We don't really need to retaliate yet. Don't need to search. Thing is, we've got, I think there was 12 cards in the Terra deck. And there's, we've done what, three turns already? Yeah. Which means we do need to start doing damage to him at some point. We need to chase after him and start fighting back. Mm. But I think that Sprint's definitely one that we need. Sweet. So, so we can move. Because otherwise we're just sat in that one board. Oh, so we do, if we do Sprint, so Furious Strike. So we do two for Sprint, which is that. And then... Four for Furious Strike. Two. And only got one left, so close call. She isn't bad to have. She can re-roll any one dice. She isn't too bad. Uh, yes. So walk focus goes there. Sprint is over here. Close call there. What's that there? Distraction. There. So we've got all that done, and now it's whose turn? It's our turn now, isn't it? Uh, turn. Yeah, purchases. So we set time at six, and we set the this pile. Um, did we do our action phase? No, this is what we're doing now. The planning phase happens after that. So we only would have had one turn, I think. Oh, we've been doing it completely wrong then. We've been resetting it to... Yeah, we've been doing the planning phase before the action phase. So it resets at six, then we take actions, then we buy. No, play action cards. Yep. Then purchase action cards with the remaining time. Then reset the time to six. Then return all the cards back that you haven't had a chance to buy. Oh, so we have been doing it wrong. We've been cheating and still failing miserably. We have been cheating and still failing miserably. Ah, well. well. Let's just start from the play, play phase, I guess. Yeah. So play action cards. So we have a small amount. I mean, we've still been used, spending what we've left over from the last round, so we haven't been doing it that bad. It's just we shouldn't have had some of the moves that we've been taking, I think. Yeah, maybe. I think we've run out of time, but that's fine. Um... So we are going to sprint, I guess, first. Yeah. We're not, we're not near anyone, so it's either we focus or we sprint. It's going to be one of the two. Well, our dice haven't been doing this very well, so I feel like we're in for a ton of luck. So I feel like sprinting is probably the best if we get a good success. Okay, we'll sprint. Seven or eleven, I'm in heaven. Ooh. We have one success at the very least. So one success would be moved two spaces. Hmm. Which would take us to here. But well, it, it could either take us there or we could go in here and pick up this person in here. Or do we want to use free and try and come running around here? And then we could maybe use walk and walk to get these two out. But it means that we'd lose probably short rest and close call. We could probably bin off. And that would bring us all the way around here to there. Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay, we'll bin off both of them. We'll go round to here. Um, and that is one time spent on that. And then we'll probably play focus. Go on then. Let's see if we can gain some time back before we go shopping. No, we lose two time. Your rolls is not with us today. 
So then that is what we've got left. You <laughs> changing the dice. <laughs> yeah, those those other two are cursed. Yeah, it's the dice as fault. <laughs> it's not me. It's not my rolling technique. It's not me. Yeah. Uh, so they're in dice jail. Right, so we have now got three points to spend. So if we're going to do it properly, we are then going to the planning phase, which is purchase extra cards with three. So all of them are zeros. Yeah, we'll take the, all the zeros back. That's straight up. Um, and probably. Do we take a search? Um, yes, actually. Because if we're going to walk, docks, yeah. Yeah, if we're going to walk in there, we can search the docks, get yeah. an item, yeah. and then. Agreed. Agreed. So, so that's, that's two. Yeah. And we can have another close call because we, we do sort of have. It's you sort of bin off. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that. So then we restock, don't we? That's the end of the plan. And um, then return it to six, which has been done. And then return action cards to the discard pile, uh, in the discard pile to the table. Uh, sprint is over here. So we haven't got our sprint cards for a change. Do we have, do we have more than 10 cards? Nope. No. Seven. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's then, the killer. resolve the killer action, which is move towards the nearest thing and kill it. He's gonna get another bloodlust. So now he's gonna move two spaces instead of one and do free damage if he fa catches. And he's also got his dark power. Is that this? I think it's the. Yeah, that's dark power. Yep. Dark obsession. Whenever Hans attacks you at least once, he attacks an additional time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't get slapped by a butcher. How on earth are we supposed to win? <laughs> These items better be like so OP. Well, we don't know what's been destroyed in a fire. <laughs> That's oh. the problem. They were all shuffled at the start. I told me what items to put in the game, but they were obviously all shuffled, and then I don't know what was in where, so... So the docks has got all the shit ones. It might have. It might have... It could have a... Could have fireworks. I don't know. Could have a boat. A boat? Yeah, there was a boat. We've got a little boat that can come into play at some point. That'd be handy. So then it's the panic phase. No one panics. And then what is after that? Uh, panic phase... The... Oh, no, terracord. We haven't done yeah, a terracord. Yeah, yeah, terracord. Horrifying Hammer Rush. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next tarot card. Otherwise, target a person, move to attack twice. <laughs> He's just getting <laughs> OP. So we've done no damage and he's just killed like eight people. <laughs> he's killed half the town. Half of Happy Camp is dead. Over half. Um, and then for each victim killed during this attack, we gain a horror. Oh my god. I never get it off these two dice. Two dice is just what we're set to. Right, and then it's going to be us now, isn't it? It's got, it's got to be a walk. I will say that this is, this is number one in a book that is what? How many pages is this book? 62 <laughs> this is this is number one. Oh my god um so yeah we need I'm to in disbelief we need to walk don't we we do need to walk Cr see. christen them with good rolls not like that i prefer the other dice um fine you have them <laughs> i don't really want them i'll take these ones uh, so we are going to have to discard two cards, aren't we, really? We can't get rid of Search. We need no, that. It's f it'd be Focus and... Um, weak Attack. Fo yeah. Close Call and Weak Attack. Well, what does Focus do? Focus lets us try and build up that, unless we don't want to do that. Yeah, six is a bit of a, a bit much. So, yeah, Weak Attack and Close Call, I think. And then we're going to go one space, which is in here. Hello, friends. And we're going to lose, what, one and we should be We should be making use of these close calls. Play after any horror roll to re-roll any one die. 
Or re roll all dice, dice for two. two. Yeah. For two times. I mean, they are, they are kind of useful. They like counteract what we've been sacking them for. Yeah. <laughs> I did say it's two smooth brains against this game. <laughs> so we're going to search. Right, here we go. Do you want to do the search? Yeah, sure. Bear in mind, if we do nothing here, we're going down to one dice. And then he's gaining another blood oh, Believe God. in the heart of the I, dice. I you believe. Need... I believe. Oh, that's a success. At least one. Take the top item card in your space. Do we only want one, or do we want it? We haven't got the cards to do that. You take two cards out. If you choose one. I think we just take the one. Yeah, I'm part happy, of the cards. Happy with the one. Happy with the one. Docs, we have got a whistle. Spend time to use the whistle once per action phase. When used, all victims adjacent to you will move to your space. Then all enemies target you and walk one, and move. Sorry, and he has got two movements, so he will be getting up to us. As long as you have the whistle, one additional victim will follow you. So we can... Well, we should probably visit the cemetery at some point. Because... I don't think it works where you whistle and bring them all back to life. <laughs> Just a grave. <laughs> mass grave. And then... Oh, that's also a cost of time. And then we will do walk. <sighs> Let's do walk. Come on, heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. We need one. We need one. We got one. We got one. We take those. They're both going to follow us. Because we've got the whistle. So now we can do two. Well, I think That's we also need... going to be time. So I think we need two then. I think we need, I think we need to do both of those. We don't really need to move at the moment. And we don't need to take an action card with a maximum of two cost. No, it would be sprint maybe if we did that. Yeah. So... Decrease the horror level by one. Yeah. So we're not panicking about going down to one dice. And then two times. Two times. To help us get stuff here. And then that's it. I think that's all we're going to do. So unless you want to focus. Should we try focus? We've got one time to spend, but it means that we wouldn't be able to buy as much. But we could also gain two more. And with a critical success. Yeah. Yeah. We, there's no harm in trying it. Well, there is, but... <laughs> We could just. This is where we fail. This is where everything goes tits up. Oh my god. He believed he's, he's in the done. dice. That was Honestly, focus, wasn't it? Th yeah. These dice, these work for me. One, two, and we go up on that as well. So we're back to where we started. We're better than where we started. I know. So we now go. That's it. We don't have Furious Strike, so we're done. Can we not just leave? <laughs> we keep just going leave, to these leave, exits. Leave a killer on the loose. Yeah. We leave all these exits. How are we going to do... I mean, he does six hits because he attacks twice when he hits us. So he kills us in one. He kills us in one. So I think because that, because of that, we need to start focusing on these defense cards as well. Yeah, I agree. So that is the action phase... Um, then it's the planning phase. So purchase action cards. So we have seven seven times a lot of time. So we're going to take these first. Yeah, take them first. Short rest and focus. Then guard is ignore all damage. Retaliate is ignore all damage, and then do damage to him. Do damage back. And then for four. Hmm. I think retaliate is probably best for four because six it, we can't we can't get hit retaliate only lets us so we'd have to get a critical like make critical success basically ignore all damage from attack because if we only get one it only reduces it by two which means we still take one damage from the first attack and then get killed on the second or no we go down to our last health bar so we'd have to successfully do one of them So I say... Well, do you want two guard cards instead? Well, guard would ignore all damage, but we don't do any damage back. And we need to start doing damage to him. 
Well, the good thing is he's going to come to us. So we could take retaliate and guard. And close call. Yeah. Fine. Because it's seven, isn't it? So four, five, six, seven, yeah. We take a guard, take that, do that, and then. It's... Then we set time for six. That's been done. Return action cards to the discard pile in the in the blah blah blah. So get the wall on the table. Yeah, wall goes there. Close call there. We need to remember to use close call and not just sack it off. <laughs> for the sake sack of... it off is a, is a wasted card. This is the second game or second sort of game like this that this. Uh, Van Rider Games has done the other one's called Hostage Negotiator mm. where you literally just have to negotiate with a killer that's trying <laughs> to kill people <laughs> so I'll let you sever two toes <laughs> in exchange for saving my life so then it's the killer's turn isn't it so we... uh, yeah killer phase resolve killer action so he's going to move what two spaces one yeah two yeah. he comes into our space I and didn't realise there's a thing there and attacks for Three damage, unless we can do something about it. Doesn't he attack twice though? Have we just died? Can we use these now, or is that yeah? Because I'm sure this is like a retaliate thing. Because if we already reset the time at this point, yeah. So we can spend now to retaliate because we've yeah. just picked them up. So yeah, thank fuck for that. Surely, I'm assuming that's how that works. Because we've it got makes, these cards to makes defend. Makes sense. I guess it's play any action, any like additional action cards that you like want to like yeah because you're not going to play on, on you're not going to play a guard are you when you're not no he's not attacking so they, they have to be retaliating at this point so we've got two cards to spend <laughs> and we've got he's got two attacks on us so do we retaliate first i think so yeah okay so we'll play that do you want to do it i'm just gonna have a bit of a brawl no nah, i've just got two i just got a star so i don't know if i fancy my luck you just want me to take the blame I am, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well we need to discard two. Oh no, we don't. We don't. We don't. We roll only one dice. I'm gonna re-roll this one because then we've still got. Mm. Mm, smart. And if we discard two, does that mean both of them get changed? Yeah, if we discard four. So we'd have to discard absolutely everything to do three damage back to them. And take no damage. And take yeah, take no damage. But then he's gonna attack again. But doesn't is it, why is it two cards for each dice? I thought can you it's, two, it's two cards? basically two cards turn that dice into a star. That's how it works. Let's change the rules. <laughs> um, we do have a short rest for our turn. So if we just discard two, get rid of focus and f I don't want to get rid of furious strike. We're in the same way. Oh my god, no, we can't. Maybe. I think Furious Strike has to go. I think Furious Strike has to go. Why can't we just get rid of Focus and Guard? Because he's going to attack again. He attacks twice, and unless you want to take free damage from him the second time. Maybe that's the move. We take the free damage. So mm -hmm. we're going to take two damage. No, we reduce it by two. So we're going to take, what, one damage here. Then we're going to take three damage. So we're going to be onto our last bit of health. Going into the next thing. And that's all our cards. We can't move. We're going to be stood here next to him. I think we're dead. <laughs> Bear in mind, we haven't even done that yet. Which could be that he just slaps the silly in the next second. <laughs> and guards need to keep don't they but it means we can't move we can't do anything next turn no matter what happens because we're going to guard next and then all we're going to do is what short rest to heal some health back so unless we get rid of short rest and focus and keep furious striking guards we can guard this next attack hopefully and try and like tip them away 
and then try Somewhat. and hit him a bit. Because it could be that the next terror card is he focuses on, focuses the, meeple on the meeple and walks away from us. That's a big gamble, but <laughs> it could do. He could just walk away. He could just like, oh, she's she's weak as piss. <laughs> I, I I think we gamble. Okay, yeah, we can gamble. So we get rid of short rest and focus. To make that a success. To make that a success. Which was, what was that on Retaliate? We reduced the damage by two and deal one damage to him. So he's done damage. We've hit him. So, and we, we reduce his damage by two, right? Was that? We reduce his damage by two. So he's doing three. So we only, we only get hit for one, which isn't that bad. I'll leave himself up there if it's off the board. And we get hit by one, yeah. Mm. And then he's going to attack again. For three. For three, but we've got guard. We've got guard. So we need to play guard now. So we're playing guard now. And I'll roll, because yep. you rolled the last time. Yep. We need at least one star to stay alive in mm. this for quite a while. Oh Two my god. Ignore, Ignore all, all damage. Look at you. I told you you should be doing all the rolls. It's these dice. It's these dice. Honestly, putting them in dice jail is the best thing I've ever done. So, no damage taken. We're done. Terra card. Did he attack twice? <laughs> he kept swinging his hammer and <laughs> killing and killing is the name of the card. Uh, if there are no victims on the bot, uh, the card, the Scott. Oh, he's going for the meeple. He's not going for us. Oh my god, what a gamble! <laughs> he's going it's for paid the off after all. So he is literally just going to walk away and like, fucking blocking my attacks, you bitch. Yes. So he's going to move twice it. this way, and then he's going to move another two times this way towards the killer. Why did he move twice twice? Because he's got two movement on his thing. So he's going to move and then move again. Uh, oh, well, that happened. Okay, I see, I see. See, gamble pays off. I know. So we're safe for a turn, so we've reset that. And we've got... And we have a Furious Strike. But for no reason. For no reason. <laughs> that's, that's all we can do. It's just sit here like... I like the fact that she's just like blocked the killer twice. She knows that he's an absolute unit because she's done nothing to him apart from take off. Like, she's given him a paper cut at this point. And then she's just got the exit sign just sat just behind her. She's like, I can't leave. <laughs> I still think I've got a chance. <laughs> D death by a thousand cuts. It's possible. And so the tide turns, <laughs> and our victory, no. Well, we're, we're doing nothing, so we're going to end our turn straight away and go straight to the planning phase, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so it's purchase action cards for six. So we're going to take all these back. Oh, wait, no, because these cost, don't they? So, oh, no, they don't. No. The garden thing didn't. They're free to retaliate with. So we take them back. They're ours for next turn. And we've got six to spend on whatever we want. Sprint. Yeah, we can take a sprint for two. Search, maybe. See if we can find something else at the docks. Yeah, another two. And another guard, maybe. Yeah, and that's all our stuff. At least, we, at least if we've got the guard, he can't just damage us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards is a lot of cards. It is a lot of cards, but I've just watched him slap us about. and I'll have you know, we have dealt <laughs> one damage to this man. <laughs> we have dealt a whole one damage that he, he didn't see coming. He stepped on a Lego. <laughs> he stepped on a whistle. He's like, fucking <laughs> stop blowing it. <laughs> He's got tinnitus after he blew the whistle at him. <laughs> no means no. It's <laughs> 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 screaming at a killer. And that's why he's like, all right, well, she said no means no. He walks off. Go kill this one over here, I guess. That people say, like, wait, I can just say no? <laughs> oh, I can't believe it was that simple. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got quite a lot of to play with here. We have got so much to play with. So let's walk to the docks. Search the docks, no? Yeah, we'll walk to the docks. 
Go on then. Or oh, do you want me to? Okay, you go. I've done it now. Oh my god. Critical success. Oh my god. Move up to two, so we're gonna have to just stay there. Then we're gonna we lose one. Oh, this was just a bean reset. And we lose one. Yeah. And then you search. In fact, we've just cheated again. Why? Because we picked up all the cards and then decided to have our go. It's the killer's go. The killer's been? No, he hasn't. Because remember, we only had a thing left. We only had Furious Strike left. So we yeah, didn't take... Yeah, purchase that show. six. Oh, so yeah, it's the, yes, killer's, it's the killer's turn. So the killer's going to walk in here. <laughs> just massacre the last person. Which means that goes up again. Oh, and we goodness. lose enough one of them. And then... Wait, he, does he... No, yeah. he only attacks twice, doesn't he? Yeah, draw the tarot so, card. It's a tarot card. He wants fresh blood. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next tarot card. That's not good. Well, it means we're nearly lost. Minor dark power. So he gets this dark power. Hands moves an additional one space for each movement, and he gains two health. <laughs> he can't go past 12, I don't think. I think 12 is his max, so I think he just sits on 12, so you give him his health back. So he's got a minor dark power. Um, but that's all he does this turn, but we've only got two turns to deal 12 damage. Where do the events come into this? Like, surely some card says turn over an event. But I haven't seen any. Unless something else was supposed to happen. Were we supposed to put something else on the board? It doesn't say to put anything else on this setup. What are, what are the diamond triangle mean? They're for a different... Their other killers have certain stuff. Um, I think we've lost. But we'll go out in a blaze of glory. So we were actually here. So we're gonna. are we going to do what we've said? Because it's now, what, panic, nothing happens. And then we reset to six and carry on, yeah? Yeah. Right, so we're so going to walk. See if you get your, your double. This is where you fail now. No, I can't double. You're just freaking non-stop. Right, we'll only move one. We lose one, and then we search. Go on, you're on a roll. You were on a roll. Why did you have to say anything at all? Take, take. So we can take the top item card in our space, but lose two, so we only have one dice. Or we just lose one and lose two time. How on earth are you supposed to win? <sighs> I think we've lost. I do think it's over. I do think we've... <laughs> We succumb to hands, the angry butcher. I don't even know what we could do different if we do this again. I think we've got to just like charge hands. I think we've just got to sprint straight for him and just start wailing on him while he's down here and doing no damage back to us. And if it's we still can... two damage though. Yeah. But he doesn't attack twice. Getting yeah. the dark power is bad. Yeah. But you start on the opposite side of the board. What are we going to do about that? And we don't do any damage. You can only do damage every other other go. Right. We need to all or we just need items that can do damage. I imagine there's some item that does insane damage. Like a shotgun or something. There is a revolver, but I don't know if it's in here. Because they took the pacifist, remember? It's a pacifist, he took away all weapons. So it's gonna be some weird item that's in there that's like absolutely shit. <sighs> they make it look so easy in the films. I wish I had a script that could do anything. Um, what do we do then? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we need to, we need to do this anyway. At well, very, no, we haven't. Very least. We haven't. We've done the search here. Yeah, what are we going to do? Okay. I don't think we can go down to one dice. So we just let him lose one, lose two time. Mm. Or do we? Oh, do we? Do we risk it? Let's see what item it is, because the item that we get could be the item that solves all of our misery. But then we only have one dice, and we've got no... Well, we've got focus, which could put us back up to two dice. Yeah. Oh, no, we can't. We, yeah, it can, but we'd still lose the time. So we could still do one dice, but have to hit it. So if we do two, so we lose... So we lose two anyway. 
yeah, we've lost two anyway, and then we're going to lose that. But we're going to gain the top item in the dock. What is it? Tell me it's useful. It's not useful. It's not useful. <laughs> First aid kit. Step one, stop the bleeding. Step two, stay alive. What the Bee Gees got to do with any of this? Every time you use an action card to recover health, recover an additional health. Yep. So that's a thing. That was, that was, yeah, we've got another item in our hand though. We have a whistle and a first aid kit. We're going to stop Hans the Butcher, who have 12 health and 3 damage, with a whistle and... <laughs> a whistle and a... <laughs> no! <laughs> Let me patch them! <laughs> Stranger danger! <laughs> so I think what we do now is flip the table and leave the room. <laughs> it's focus with one dice. This is this is this run is cursed. <laughs> we lose two. <laughs> Don't laugh maniacally like some sort of. This is your doing. Well, if I didn't laugh, I'd be crying right now. <laughs> it's not even close. We've been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> we didn't do any damage. The whole. We camp... did one damage. He just went. Nope. <laughs> the whole camp got absolutely decimated. <laughs> we saved We're, three we're people. petrified. We saved three people, and who died? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of our campmates are deceased. Um, That's thirty percent, to be fair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see your point. We've got nothing. We can't do anything. I say, let's let's heart of the cards it. We end our turn. We can spend one point, which is to get close call. <laughs> Trust <sighs> the process. It's now the killer phase, isn't it? So, or we replan after because we've done all that. So these go back in to be bought. Oh no, we we've got short rest as well back and stuff like that. So we're trusting the process. We can only have ten cards. Yeah, we won't have more than ten. Don't worry. I think we've got nine. Not that they're any use. I think we got nine. Eight. We've got eight cards. So it's the killer's turn. And we're going to survive another turn because he can only move two spaces, which will be one, two. He's coming through the lake at us. <laughs> just the head just come, <laughs> I'm coming back. A whistle goes to the mouth. And then we draw a tarot card. Yeah, yeah. Place two new victims in the space where the killer started the game. He was down here, wasn't he? Yeah. I'd... We got friends, but also the game's over because the Terror decks run out. So technically, we so didn't we need to die get, to him. We need to get to a finale card. There is no finale card. Or is the final Terror card the finale card? Yeah. So where do the events come in? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, there you go, event. So we also gain an event there. There was only one event. Why did, was one of these meant to be an event? No, might be one of our cards. I don't know, unless this one tells us to. One less victim will follow you. Great. Stubborn kids. But the whistle means we gain one, so we still have two people following us. I don't know where the other one comes from, though, because the event, unless... Does one of them say flip over an event? But it's the finale, anyway, so we can... Oh, it's Bloodbath. There we go. He'll now do some more damage. Okay. He'll go to evil, move twice, and attack twice. <sighs> but it's our turn. We've got this last run to try and do anything. We're, we're dead. 
Look positive. Think positive. Maybe a night in close an event. Reveal the finale of the tarot cards left. Rearrange the items. Items have been rearranged. Play action cards. Right. Are you ready for the biggest brain of plays? I'll s I believe it when I see it. Okay. Okay. Right. Maybe we needed three brain cells for this. Oh, actually, also it's four. Because we didn't move that up. It was supposed to gain a horror, but you can't gain any, so he's going there. Uh, but, right. I've got a plan. That goes up to six. I have got a big brain plan. We focus. Go on. Give us a star. It's going to be a star. There's the star. Right. Okay. 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 Um, let's get rid of. Let me get rid of sprint. Should we not use close call, maybe? No. Do I risk it? No. Risk it for a biscuit? No. Alright. No, 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 no. We'll need close call in a minute. We're gonna get rid of close we're gonna get rid of sprint and short rest to make that a success, which means we lose one time but go up. We've got two dice. Okay. We're then gonna walk. Two dice. Which is move up to two spaces. We only need we only need one. I'm standing down in the lake. I've got a toaster. <laughs> we lose that. We like to keep the whole lake. <laughs> it says if you kill yourself, you win. But I'm gonna do weak attack. You, you just had you just had some success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go for it. Go I, for it. No, but if you feel unconfident, I mean, okay. That's not bad. We only need one strike, so we'll take one damage. That's fine. But we're doing one damage to him. We're fighting back, and we lose. It's, it's we don't lose anything. We could attack. We didn't lose any time. We then do. Furious strike. Are you feeling it? Can you feel me now, Mr. Krabs? No, I'll let you do it. You can do it. Two stars, two stars. This is the two stars. This is the money shot. This is the money shot right here. The money shot. Yep. All over. Give him it. Either way, we end our turn, so fuck it, we'll use a close call. Yay! <laughs> fuck this game! What? Fuck this game! <laughs> well, it's the... Uh, we'll finish off because, you know, we'll... We'll, we'll finish the gate. We'll see it through. We will not rage... There will be no tables flipped. You no, know I, I forgot to do. What? I forgot to get you to blow on the money shot. Oh, that's that's the yeah, that's that's the problem. If you'd have blown, that would have been two stars. You didn't blow. I can't believe we've just absolutely. Well, it's the killer's turn. We've we've got nothing to. In fact, no, no, no. We're all good. We're all good. So we've ended our turn. And. We, we gain a horror, so we're back into one. So that's minor inconvenience. We've still got four to spend. So we can either retaliate, 
might not be the best because he's going to hit four damage. So we'd still take two. We've got a guard. We've only got one dice. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that it's an LD reduces. It doesn't ignore all damage. We're dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought we were gonna. I thought I was gonna big brain it and be like, we can guard, we can survive, we can get out, maybe. But no, we're dead. We're dead. That's that's the game. That's the game. We're we're deceased. We are an ex lorry. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us on the board game bunker tonight with Final Girl. We have been absolutely um, demoralised in every sense of the word. Uh, do you want to go again? <laughs> uh, join us next week to see if we get um, pillaged like we did this week. <laughs> We're just seven deaths. We <laughs> brought two more out of nowhere just for the sport of killing. Oh... Ha 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 